What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I am back here with another MLB 16, the show, Baltimore Orioles franchise. I have not said that in a while. I know if you guys haven't been like in the loop or in the you know thing. Uh, my hard drive failed. I was able to you now skip over a few games in the season and be able to be like, okay, I don't have to do any like that game recap stuff that I'm doing with the Dolphins stuff or the Bucks stuff or <laughs> the Dolphins versus Bucks game that I have to do coming up, um, and the UAB Blazers Dynasty, where I had to give you guys a recap of what happened last season. But hey, nonetheless, we are here in second place in the AL East with 70 wins. I am happy with this team, that what I've done so far. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the road taking on a pretty struggling Yankees team. They actually haven't had high expectations at all coming into this year. No one's really given them a shot, uh, mainly because, you know, ever since Derek Jeter left, the team hasn't really been the same. But nonetheless, you know, the Yankees still have a lot of work to do in the rotation. They got a lot of young potential. Didi DeGorias is coming along nicely. Um, Starling Castro just got traded over from the Cubs uh, pretty much for Adam Warren. Um, they don't have the strongest bullpen, but hey, they can. They have their shiny moments as well. Uh, a lot of the Yankees prospects, they still have Brett Gardner, who's still, you know, a pain in the ass to deal with in the um, outfield and on the base pads and you still got Jacoby Eldery who's really fast on the base pads as well so this team is it's got some shining spots and it's also got some really dark spots like Mark Teixeira uh, Mark Teixeira oh my god he is a living nightmare Brian McCann a nightmare but whenever he does get a hold of the ball I mean he does do pretty well Alex Rodriguez you can say his hero or nor there I mean he's all right now um, I think he's just out there just to get his, you know, home run total up for his career number, uh, career totals. Um, that's just me, but who knows? Um, anyway, take a look at Chris Davis. He has been on fire this whole season. He's got thirty over thirty one home runs. Actually, he has thirty one home runs, seventy seven RBIs. He is just dominating the Baltimore Orioles organization right now. He's he's looking at a nice hefty contract soon. Um, if we can get him to stay for a little bit longer. Uh, Manny Machado still doing pretty well. You still got uh, Jonathan Stope, Scope still trying to figure himself out, um, but he has been doing all right as of late. Uh, you see, you saw that Pedro Alvarez I think is hitting under 200, but he does have a five-game hit streak, and we're looking to extend that today. He th I think we're going to start him today um, in the lineup. So who knows how uh, everything will play, pan out? Uh, I know we've been playing a lot of teams that have been. Uh, Kind of mediocre or I wouldn't say I would say kind of just hanging around the mill although we do have the, we have played the Red Sox and that was an all right game um, we almost gave up a few runs in that one but we still ended up winning that one um, but we are facing a Yankees team which the experience on this game for me has gone up so this game has gotten a little bit harder for me to play um, only because you know the difficulty is going up because I'm playing on dynamic um, but you see the pitching staff as well you know, Zach Britton and Darren O'Day always doing their things in the bullpen. Let's see if we could utilize them today as we take on the New York Yankees. As this one should be pretty good. It's going to be interesting to see how we go in Yankee Stadium and uh, how many home runs we can hit. Because you know how like the Baltimore Orioles like to hit. and uh, Or at least hit home runs. And you know how you know Yankee Stadium is a very good, or it's very friendly to hitters like Chris Davis and Manny Machado and uh, Adam Jones, all those players. You see the Yankees coming out of the, the dugout. Here comes Michael Pineda, the starting pitcher today for the New York Yankees, facing Yabaldo Jimenez. Both pitchers have been doing good as of late. Uh, you see Michael Pineda, 10-6, 3.32 ERA, 171 innings pitched, 130 strikeouts on 43 walks, and 168 hits. So he's given up a little bit over a walk, in a hit per inning. His whip is a little bit over one. So it's not the worst thing in the world. You see, they look at the starting lineup here. Joey Rickard, Jimmy Paredes, Manny Machado, Chris Davis, Mark Trumbull, Matt Wieters, Jonathan Scope, Adam Jones, and uh, Pedro Alvarez in the starting lineup. So here comes Machado at the plate. He's going to rip one into left, but it's right at Garner. And he doesn't have to move far at all to get that one. That was a nice, solid rip, but not enough. You see, Yvaldo Jimenez, 8 and 10 with a 505. He has had some really rough starts in the beginning of the season, but he's finally starting to get it together. Uh, 
I think last our he only gave up like one or two runs, but this Yankees lineup, it doesn't have any good power hitters. You see Mark Teixeira hitting 201, and that is awful. You see Greg Bird batting DH today. Uh, Alex Rodriguez is also fifth in the lineup. Those guys we need to worry about. Jacoby Ellsbury and Brett Garner as well. As you see, Brett Garner, this is what I hate about Brett Garner. He's a sneaky little guy. Let's and he just head. drives me nuts. He, he he's one of those guys that actually does get inside my head and when I'm playing this game because it's just like he's such a nuisance on the base pads and on at the plate that you just you can't plan around him. So here comes Mark Trumbo hits hits this one into right field, solid base hit for Mark Trumbo. He has been doing really well this year. Doesn't have the big power numbers like when he was in LA, but man, he has come along nicely for this team, and I really like. The uh, progress he has made here in Baltimore. You see, he right here, he gets on second base off of a wild pitch. So maybe, just maybe, we could turn this into something here in the second inning. As that um, Michael Pineda pitch was down in the dirt. So now Jonathan Scope at the plate. He's going to take his base. Good patience at the plate to be down first at 0-2. Now he comes back and takes his base. That's what happens when you face a wild pitcher like Michael Pineda. And you see Adam Jones ripping this one back up the middle. And Mark Trumbull's going to score. So now we've got runners on first and third. And they're going to take a with two away. So now let's see shore. if we can extend this lead just a little bit more. You know, we got to we got to put our foot on the gas here. We can't just break here and towards the latter part of the season. Um, so we got to be aggressive. We got to be hitting the ball well. You see right here Pedro Alvarez with two away here runners on the corners. Let's see if he can knock this one in and get Jonathan Scope in, here in to score. The pitch from Pineda is this one's going to be popped into right field and I think that's in fair territory and that's going to be an out. So uh, we don't get another run right there. That's kind of unfortunate. Nice play right there by Pineda to get that one to pop up. You see later on in the bottom of the second, Alex Rodriguez at the plate. And let's see what he can do. You know he's at the latter part of his career. And let's see if he can finish strong here against the Orioles. He's going to take this one into deep right center. This one is going to bounce off the wall right into Adam Jones' glove. And that's going to be a leadoff double for Alex Rodriguez. As he has hit the ball pretty well this year. 265 average. It's pretty good for a guy of his age. See right here, they're going to get another one right here from McCann. As that's one, this one's cut off just at the right time. So I think if it would have waited just a little bit longer, if it was just a slower roll in the center field, Alex Rodriguez would have scored. A Rod would have easily scored. Later on, it's Castro at the plate, and he's going to take his base. So the bases are juiced for DD DeGorius. And later on, it's Jacoby Ellsbury and Bra uh, Brett Garner. As uh, Jacoby Ellsbury swing and a miss, strike three. And that is going to get us out of the bases loaded jam early here early on as Machado here is going to bounce one right to Pineda not even to get into the pitcher's mound and that's going to be an out right there as the Yankees get out of another inning uh, with minimal damage so it's still one nothing here in the bottom of the third as this one's going to be popped up to Shara just continuing to struggle I don't know why he hasn't like he hasn't realized like oh hey I'm kind of garbage like even the Yankees fans like I work with a Yankees fan and he even says Pineda is garbage or not Pineda but uh, to Shara but to, as uh, Pineda strikes out uh, to end the inning. But to share a man, he is just garbage. Even Yankee, like I, like I said, I work for the Yankees fan. He even says, you know, to share is garbage. But look at uh, Brian McCann hanging one barely over the wall. Hey, a home run's a home run. Doesn't really matter about the distance. If you hit it over the fence, it still counts the same way. Um, but it is a home run, and it's now one to one. So. Not a good pitch right there. That thing, that thing hung over the middle of the plate, and that was just a meatball for Brian McCann. As you see right here, Yabaldo Jimenez takes his frustrations out on Starling Castro and hits him. Uh, but later on, in two outs, very next pitch, actually. Uh, Didi DeGorias is not going to get anywhere with that one. He's going to pop up right behind home plate. So now it's still 1-1 here in the fifth. Pedro Alvarez caught looking. Yeah, he's just window shopping. But anyway, bottom five now. Full count here. Jacoby Ellsbury smacking this one into center field. Nice cutoff right there by Adam Jones out there in center to get that one. Except if he would have gone a little bit further, he might have gotten a double. But later on, and, uh, you know, Jacoby's going to be safe at first. Or that's first, second, because I threw it to the wrong base. I threw it to first on accident, but anyway. Uh, here is a nice base hit right here from Bird. And Bird's going to get himself a two-bagger. That makes it 2-1 two to one New York. And now Greg Bird gets an RBI double in the DH spot. 
Later on, it's two away, three two, and A Rod gets caught looking on the corner on a nice pitch right down there. Uh, so now we are in the top of the six. Jimmy Paredes gets this one sneaking past to share at first, and that's going to be a base hit. So now. Down two to one here in the six. Can we get ourselves a tie ball game here? Here's Manny Machado. He's going to slip this one past A-Rod. So not, well, that's going to be counted as an error. Um, but nice way to get on base there for the Baltimore Orioles. And now we have here two on and one out. Chris Davis, who has been on fire for this team. He's going to smack this one in the left center for a nice base hit. We got one to come across. We're not going to get the second one, which is definitely more than okay because we only have one away. And we have the part of our lineup at, at the player here. So here's Matt Weeters here. As we just need another base hit with two away. Can we get Weeters to get one in the gap or something? No, we cannot. As A-Rod is going to come up and get that one and get them out of the jam. So now, oh, we... It's been, a, it's been a pretty good pitcher's matchup today. Ubaldo Jimenez has been pitching pretty good today. Um, he's only given up, you know, he's given up his fair share of hits, but he's only given up two runs. Something that, you know, it's very quality-like. That's like, uh, you know, old Ubaldo Jimenez. That's something that I, I like. You know, old Ubaldo Jimenez. Back when he played with the Indians, and he was up for, like, I think, I think he was up for a Cy Young. I don't think he won it. I don't think he did. But... On top top seven game. here, Jonathan Been Scope at the plate. He's going to take this one and rip it right up the gut for a base hit. And uh, that's innings. perfect hitting right there. Jonathan Scope doing his thing at the plate. Now we just need him to come across the plate and get him, get us a 3-2 lead. Here's Pedro Alvarez here with, with one out, taking this one into center field base hit. So now we have two on base. Another perfect rip from Pedro Alvarez as he extends his hit streak to six games. Dude's batting under 200, and he has a six-game hitting streak. What are, the what are the odds, right? So, later on, Joey Rickard at the plate. He hasn't been hitting the ball particularly well, but I did want him to start because of his speed. I do like his speed, but it did not really matter in this situation. That's a, you know, 4-6-3 double play to end the inning. Joey Rickard, you're killing me, son. You're killing me. So, anyway... Garner here, uh, he's going to take this one in the deep left as Rickard is right there to grab that one in left. And that one is going to end the bottom of the seventh. Here goes top eight. Jimmy Perret is at the plate again. He has been doing extremely well for this team. And he does it again right here as that one bounces up onto Didi Gregorius. And Gregorius just couldn't handle that one. I think that bounced right in front of him. It just goes over his head. They're going to count that as a base hit, actually. And now later on, it is going to be... Uh, Mark Trumbo, he has a hit earlier in this game. Let's see if he can add to his totals today. No, he cannot. As that's going to be the end of the inning for the Orioles. It's still 2-2. Two two. Could we be going to extras, though? Michael Gibbons at the plate. He has been doing solid so far this year. Let's see if we can add to his totals today uh, to try and lower that ERA. We get him out of the inning right there. Top nine here. Here's Matt Wieters. Let's see if we can get him on base and see if we can get a run here. We do draw the walk, so that's good. You know, we got we got to establish patience at the play. We got to make the pitchers throw out there. We don't want this guy, you know, going one, two, three just like that. We want them to earn it. So here's Adam Jones, and he's going to get a little dribbler off the second for one, and that's a double play, a two, six, three double play, as a matter of fact. So here is Starling Castro here in the bottom of the ninth. Looks like we're going to have some free baseball. Is that the ground ball to Jonathan Scope? You know, Starlin doesn't even make it to first, and that's going to end that. So here we go into extra innings. Jimmy Paredes at the plate. He's already got two hits in this game. Can we make it three? Can we make it three for Jimmy Paredes? Who knows? Let's give it a shot here. He's going to take this one into deep left center. Not deep enough, though. It's like middle left center. High and middle to the left center. Left, left center, I guess. But here in the top, or bottom of the 10th, here is another good hit right here in the left center for Didi DeGorius. And Joey Rickard couldn't come up with it from a diving grab. So Didi DeGorius is on second base with nobody out to lead off the bottom of the 10th. Oh, no. So we're going to intentionally walk Jacoby Ellsbury to try and get the force at third at, or force at any base. Uh, but it doesn't really matter right here as... Uh, that's pretty much going to end the ball game right here. Joey Rickard's not going to make the play at home. And the Yankees come out with a 3-2 extra innings win against the Baltimore Orioles, which is, you know, I, I don't mind this loss. I was a little upset because it's the Yankees that are in the last place in our division, but it's a division matchup. 
and you know anything can happen you know but anyway we're still in the playoff hunt we're still top of the wild card it's not a, you know one loss I mean it could determine our season but I don't think it'll be that big of a factor later on in the year um, we're still gonna do our best to try and get that one wild card spot so no worries one loss we'll get back at it the next day and in the next video so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy drop a like and if you're new to this channel at all hit that subscribe button down below but until next time my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. You guys are the best supporters on YouTube. And I'm out. Peace. One air. They left six men on base. For the Orioles, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening. And please drive home safely.